Hello everyone. Now today we will be making something very exciting, very easy to make and very tasty. Now we've been stocking up on Nutella for this special occasion. We will be making Nutella cookies. Now we have all the ingredients up on the screen because no me, there's only four ingredients but I'm going to botch up saying it anyway. So we're making this much. Um, we made a few yesterday, but that's just for the family tea. But we're making this much today because we're going to give some to the post office because they're really kind of like on the front line. We've relied on them so much for sending important letters over around. And yeah, we'll just like to send a bit of a thank you to them. So today we will be, um, I would normally be using a whisk to mix all the, um, all the stuff together. But I, because there's so much, I'm going to be using this big spatula sort of spoon thing. So, yeah, um, yeah, until it forms kind of like a dough, then I'll be using my hand. So let's do this. Now, this will be the most satisfying thing you're probably ever going to see in your life. If you don't like Nutella, I don't think you're really a human being. So look at that. Oh, by the way, all the flour has been sifted through, so it's very um, fine. So, yeah, it'll be uh, very easy to use. I'm just sitting all over there, it looks so nice. Mm, mm, mm. So, um, if you, if this is, like, if you only have one, like, jug of Nutella, then I recommend you leaving a bit over, just so you can have, like, kind of, like, a frosting or something to sprinkle all over the final product. But because we have another kilo of Nutella, I think we might be fine. So, right, so we made eight cookies yesterday, and that will be up on the screen. The only reason we're doing this is because we times it by four for more people. But, you know, we did eight yesterday, and that will be on the screen. So, what we did, um, if you haven't got Nutella before, we did put it in the microwave. But you have to make sure, because it does come with, like, a foil um, lid. Um, so you have to make sure that you take it off, otherwise your microwave will blow up and we don't want that to happen. So, yeah, now we're going to ruin this absolutely amazing, delicious thing with eggs. It's just... Normally, I know, for like the eight um, cookies that we did yesterday, you only need one egg. So, yeah. Before I get hand deep um, and try and uh, mix it together between my hands, I have to do one important thing, and that is wash my hands. You know, because you're touching this and you're touching the eggs and stuff, you could catch some pretty nasty stuff. So I will be washing my hands now. Right, so when you do this, make sure you don't want to sieve it through your hands because you have to try and make it solid. So what you do, you get it and then you coop it up and try and form that, like a solid liquid. Try and get everything in here. Your hands will get dirty, and I have sensory issues, so it really is horrible for me. But just think of the end product, and it will get you through. Right, so with this, you just try, try and make it like firm, make a dough. You know, it won't be that at first, but you just have to keep persisting. So, yeah. So, at this point, what you have to do is preheat the oven to 180 Celsius. And the easy part about this is that it only needs to go for 10 minutes. And then you have a delicious cookie. So, as you can see, that we did not bodge it up. And now, this looks very chocolatey. Now, all we have to do is put it on a non-stick um, baking sheet onto a baking tray into the oven for 10 minutes and then it should all be fine but if you find that it might you might want it to be a bit more you know like consistent you might want to add a bit more nutella into when you're mixing it so yeah let's make it into balls so we've lined the baking tray with the sheet now we are ready to make the balls out of the dough and put them on for the cookies so let's do that Right, so they're not the most perfect balls in the world, but they're good enough. And the reason why they're shiny is because of the oil and the Nutella. And what you have to do when you're making the balls, you have to really get that oil, mix it in, make the perfect ball. Otherwise, if you don't, it will crumble when you try to make it into a ball like that. So what you have to do is try and 
put it between your hands, try and get the right size and don't make it into a circle too early because otherwise it will crumble like that. So what you have to do is just put it between your hands. I know the noise is not really the most pleasurable but you have to try and really mix it and you have to try and make the dough the best possible. And then, oh yeah, just 10 minutes in the oven. Right, so the reason that we're putting it in balls, um, well, normally with cookies it flattens and becomes its normal round shape, but because of the consistency and the limited um, um, ingredients, we have to flatten them ourselves. So we'll be doing that later. Right, so we've flattened, flattened them and we're ready to put it into the oven at 180 degrees um, preset. So yeah, let's put it in. Right. So this is the first batch, and this will be for the post office staff. So as you can see, they've got bigger in size, and we don't really want to touch them until they solidify. So um, they were stuck together because they got to such a big size, but we did cut out the knife. So if you want to know how to like presentate this, all you have to do is get a knife, dip it in some Nutella, and then just go like that action overwards and. Yeah. Easy cookie recipe. It's just one of the easiest cookie recipes.